guys, it's Trevor from Astro Backyard here. It's a uh, Friday night. It's Good Friday actually. And uh, it's another clear night. It's two in a row. Last night was clear as well. And uh, the moon rises tonight at uh, about 11.30. So that leaves a short window from when it gets dark until then to get some uh, RGB subs on uh, an object of my choice uh, before it gets uh, washed out in moonlight. In my last video with the Pinwheel Galaxy, I decided to, to shoot in the moonlight and shoot some uh, hydrogen alpha frames to pick up some uh, of the uh, HA detail in that galaxy. Uh, it was of limited value uh, on that occasion. Um, for certain objects, say uh, M33, the Triangulum Galaxy, uh, you'll really notice a difference by adding HA to, uh, to the image, but just in galaxy season, uh, I won't be doing too much more uh, hydrogen alpha imaging. So tonight's subject is uh, Markarian's chain, which is uh, the ultimate example of, uh, it's the epitome of galaxy season. So it's an area of the night sky with uh, loaded with galaxies. Uh, it's actually a line of them, I believe it's eight in a row. And they're, they're very small, they're, they're gonna look really small in my scope. Uh, but it's just the amount of galaxies that will be in this this image that's uh, mind-blowing So uh, it's actually from from where I'm set up. It's I, like I've, I've got my scope pointed at M86 right now Which is one of the brightest galaxies in, in the group and it's still hitting my house the roof of my house So in about 10 minutes, it'll be high enough that I can clear it uh, So then I'll start tracking and imaging that The camera I'm using to shoot this image is the ASI 071 MC Cool. It's a CMOS CCD style camera which can be cooled. And uh, so I've, I'm very much enjoying that cooling uh, function. It's something that the uh, DSLR was definitely lacking. Uh, I still plan to shoot a lot of DSLR astrophotography, but um, while I have this uh, ASI 071, I'm going to keep using it. Uh, this camera is uh, on loan from Ontario Telescope and Accessories and uh, it's, I've just been blown away with it to be honest. Um, the biggest thing is that when I pull in my stacked file to post-process, uh, dealing with the images captured with the ASI uh, 071 over the Canon T3i, the, just, it is, the, the noise levels are incompar incomparable. And even when I was shooting in, in temperatures of, uh, they were, you know, zero, minus one, uh, just cooling the camera down to minus 20, minus 30, what that does to the uh, final image as far as smoothness of the background sky, and uh, it's, it's, just, uh, it's just a higher quality image, and I'm able to pull a lot more out of it. So uh, I definitely see why uh, transitioning to a CCD camera eventually is a necessary step to improve my images and uh, so stay tuned for uh, more on that.